Hello, welcome to an edition of Lit. Let's inspire together. I'm your host for today, Corinne Ferguson. Let's get lit. Our first song is the Belize Synod theme song, Call to You, by Jackie Castillo and the sister Mary Rachel, also Salt. Lord, we call to you, forever serving you. Our next song, Kotunza Uhuru, Cherish Freedom by Mawasi Experience. Freedom, freedom. 
celebrate freedom, validate freedom, commemorate freedom, guard and defend freedom, stand and defend freedom, the sacred bond freedom, of each person. Freedom, Praise Him is our next song by Carlton Louison.
We have a previously recorded interview with the late Denise Plummer by Khadija Glasgow. Enjoy. Welcome back to Lift. I am the president again. I said Lift. Like, what's causing that? <laughs> no more drinks Lift. for you. <laughs> and now we have. She is the Calypso Queen of the World. She is a kingdom princess. She is one of the most <laughs> musically influential people in Trinidad and Tobago. And she has indeed been making a mark in the kingdom of God. Denise Plummer is lit today, everybody. <laughs> well, how humbling. Thank you. But you've always been lit. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. I'm just, you know, I'm living a new phase of my life now that is it's so it? beautiful. Yes, Tell us yes. about it. Oh, well, you know, it's only five years now. I'm still a baby in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. But, you know, God has changed my life so much. Yes. And, you know, he's done so many wonderful things in the latter part of my life. And, you know, there's a scripture that says the latter part of your life will be greater than the former. Yes. And I just couldn't see how that would have been possible until now. Imagine so, that. You know, there's just so much peace. And so how do you find... Um, you know the latter in terms of the the limousines and the, <laughs> the first class travel and yeah. how do you compare all of that to now and all the money and all the fame and all yes. the, the accolades you see those are things of the world and they really mean nothing i mean i am grateful that my country and my culture was really good to me mm -hmm. but if I knew then what I know now, I would know that that is just temporary. Those are temporary things. Those are things of the world. Those are things of the flesh. And it, you know, it cannot give you eternal life. It cannot give you that peace that you so desperately look for in this life. Mm -hmm. And that calm and that wisdom, knowledge and understanding that, that eludes us. Because when you, when you, as we say in the world, you, mm -hmm. you tend to think it's you that's yes. doing everything and everything yes. you achieve, you have done it. Yes. And, but even, even then I knew it wasn't me, you know, mm -hmm. I knew um, all the accolades that I've received and all the uh, competitions that I won, all the places I've traveled all over the world. And as you just made it sound so wonderful there, how could you leave that to go to God, you know, yes. to become a Christian, to go in a church and pray all day and read a Bible. But they don't understand it's not that. That's not what it is at all. Uh, well, tell us what it is. Well, it is It is finding what life really is about. Yeah. You know, it's about peace. So many people have all these things and they have no peace. Yes. So many people have a lot of money and great stuff. And, you know, they have so much sickness in their family. And they have so many terrible things that are happening that they have no control over. Exactly. There's so much we cannot control, but God controls everything. everything indeed. indeed. So when you seek first his kingdom, yes. all these same beautiful things will be added onto you, but but you, you have a purpose at the end of it all. Yes. And if, if I died in a state that I was in five years ago, I was going to hell. I know, I know it for a fact now. Oh my goodness, yeah. you said that, and all my pause raised because <laughs> That is a topic that people, even the biggest of priests and, and our mm. pastors, they don't like to talk about that. We don't like to talk about a lot the of things that are not of God. And hell. Yeah. But heaven and hell is real. Well, if there's a devil, there's a God. If there's a God, there's a devil. If it's bad, there's good. If there's a heaven, there's a hell. That is and true. And the purpose in this life is to get to heaven yes. and, you know, to have salvation yes. after we die. You know, like some people tell me they don't believe in that. And I say, okay. Let's just put it this way. Just say mm -hmm. it's true. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. You willing to take that gamble? <laughs> right. You willing to play Russian roulette? Oh my goodness. With your it's eternal true. life? You willing to chance that you're going to burn in hell after you die for eternity? It might sound childlike, but just think about it. Suppose it's real. Yeah. What is your story? You know, Denise, as you said that, I, um, I had an encounter when I was 16 years old. <laughs> yes. You know, my mother was a, rec uh, she's a cancer survivor and she was recovering at that time. And I remember crying, crying mm -hmm. out to God, saying, God, you took my father. Mm -hmm. You can't take my mother too and not letting you do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember, I mean, literally hearing, 
you can't say that to God. He's going to kill your mother. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and I said, Satan, go from me. In plain words. Yeah. And the enemy will always try to put bad, yes. frightening thoughts in, in your mind. Yeah. You know? And he said, And to, he uses fear. And the devil said to me, God is a fairy tale. I said, well, Satan. If God is a fairy tale, that is one fairy tale I'm going down believing in it. I have nothing to lose and all to win. That's all I can say. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Denise, what is happening with you now? Because you certainly did not disappear. <laughs> You're shining even brighter. Oh, Where thank can people you. find you? I know you've been to Holland, you've been to, we've been to Israel. Oh. Tell us about Denise <sighs> now. <laughs> well, I'm still traveling. A lot of people told me, well, you wouldn't be traveling anymore and you'll be giving up a lot of stuff. But I went to places that I, I never dreamed of. I, I, I walked where Jesus walked. I went to Jerusalem. I went to Israel. I, I did Bethlehem, Jerusalem, the Sea of Galilee, the Upper Room, the, the Garden of Gethsemane. And it's just like the Bible came alive in my life in an amazing way. Whoever thought I would have gotten to go to Israel? That is mind boggling. Yes. And then I went to Holland. I went to Nigeria, Abuja, Africa. I, I, I'm just, God has been using me in such a mighty way. I wrote a book. I'm now an author. Yes. I wrote my whole life story from the day I was born until what God has done with me mm. now. And to have the privilege to do these things and to you know, influence other mm -hmm. people in, in a positive, yeah. happy way, a joyful mm -hmm. way, by showing them the truth. My book is my truth. Yeah. Some people in my family even said, my God, how you could put that in the book? You, the day you lost your virginity, you put that in the book? <laughs> That's my truth. Yes. And if my mistake yes. could help some young person out there yes. not do what yes. I did, yes. then it's all worthwhile. It's not a secret society. Your life is your truth. And if your testimony can help others, to move from where they are to where God wants them to be. Mm -hmm. It's all worthwhile. So all my business in the book. <laughs> so you need to get that book and you'll be updated on <laughs> yes. all Denise all my business. business. Yes. Uh, hard, yes. Qu hard question, Denise. Yes. <sighs> hmm. So oh at, at that time, you know, mm -hmm. You believed in God? Yes, I'm a, Ro I'm a Roman Catholic. I, I believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Go to church every Sunday. Mind everybody's business. What shoe this one wearing? Who the husband didn't come to church? Oh God, when this thing over in this kind of, you know, we 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 do we not really doing it right. So so what was the the flash bulb? Uh. Well, I knew all along that God was with me because everything I touched was being successful and God took me out of a lot of frightening situations, which are all, also in the in book. The book. Mm -hmm. And then I was a heavy smoker, I was drinking rum and coke, I was gambling in casinos. Uh, I was living a lifestyle that was not pleasing to God. But because I was Denise Plummer, Miss Goody Two Shoe, she don't whine, she never naked, she don't sing no smut. I thought I was Mother Teresa <laughs> and I was going straight to heaven sort of thing yes. until... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my hairdresser invited me to her church <clears throat> mm -hmm. and her preacher was preaching mm -hmm. and he's a no-nonsense preacher mm -hmm. a street preacher mm -hmm. and boy he gave it to me raw he gave it to the congregation raw but I felt as though he was talking directly it's to me you, you mm -hmm. cannot be smoking drinking um, pornography in fornicating adulterating right and expect that you will be going to heaven if you die in that condition Wow. You're, where are you going? You probably got that lump in your throat. And that thing hit me for six because I was a heavy smoker. I was doing all these things. But it was it's accepted. Everybody else doing Do it. it. Nobody saying I ain't killing nobody. I ain't robbing. Yeah. yeah. I good. Mm -hmm. But we're not good. We're not. Look, look just recently, you see. We have people in cleaning up today. They fall they naked on the road in costumes, right? Oh, they yeah. drunk. They're sitting in a canal. They're drunk. They're one foot so, one foot so. And then it's gone and bright and early Ash Wednesday, they're lining up in a church for ashes. Come on, who are you fooling? Yeah. Who are we fooling? Yeah. I get if that. You're not lining up with the word of God. How yeah. do you expect to get the blessings of God? Yeah, how 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 do we come to a place of of lining up? To the word of God if we're not even reading the Bible. That's right. We know there's a Bible. We, we know, know that's the Bible. word of God. But ask anybody to quote one piece of scripture, two lines long. Yeah. They look at you like this. Do the minute now. Yeah. They know about Adam and Eve. They know about Noah and the ark, the stories. The end. You know, you know, yeah, yeah. David and Goliath, he felt a big stone, he lay him <laughs> down. And um, yeah, the ark went out there and the rainfall, everybody drunk. 
they know yeah. the storybook. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know the word oh, of God. God. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we need to do, read Denise, that Bible. You are everywhere in terms of concerts doing <laughs> gospel music. Yes, yes, yes. Tell us about the gospel music journey for you. It was wonderful. The gospel, you know, it's a, it's a whole different thing I had to learn. God humbled me, stripped me down. Mm -hmm. All the confidence and glory I felt of being Denise Plummer was stripped from me when I gave my life to the Lord. He humbled me right down. I didn't know what to do when I went up on the, on the altar or the podium and the microphone. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to sing. I don't, I, you know, I don't know what people are thinking about me. I'm, I'm just totally lost. Me, who had 44 years under my belt as a professional artist and entertainer with a microphone in my hand. God stripped everything from me and started training me and teaching me all over again to go now with the confidence of the word of God. And that when I go out there, it's mm -hmm. no longer about me. Mm -hmm. I am there to work for God and for him, to be used for his glory. Yes. So I did a gospel album. Yes. And I've opened for a lot of big artists. I've come down here and, and um, you know, I'm just singing for all the ladies' conventions. And, and it's just, just it, listen to me. Even the radio stations, the gospel radio stations, ran with my first song that came out. It became yes. a massive hit. Everybody knows it. There's yes. no turning back. Oh, oh no, 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 no. You know, in the world, I had yeah. to beg for airplay. You <laughs> had to be part of some conglomerate yes. to get airplay. Yes. When you're performing, you had to count to four and tell everybody put their hand in the air. In the kingdom, it's not so. It's automatic. The crowd hand, hands go in the air because it's not you. Yes. It's God they're praising. Yes. You don't have to ask anybody to put yes. their hands in the air. You don't have to ask for any airplay. A song playing three, four, five, six, seven times a day every day on the radio station. It's a different world. Yeah. God is in control God now. God is in control. Give some uh, <laughs> inspiration to the mothers looking on right now. Hmm. Mothers, mothers, women in general are expected to be superheroes. We're expected to know how to do everything. And without us, things tend to fall apart. But I'm here to tell you, with God, your, your life becomes easy, your yoke becomes easy, your burden becomes easy because the Holy Spirit is the one doing it and not you. We are teachers, we are best friends to our husbands, we are inspiration to our household and our neighbors that's what women are supposed to be even though we get tired we must never fall women are from venus men are from mars men are mechanical women are emotional mm -hmm. so you cannot expect the men to feel what you feel or do what you do but without you they fall they fail we were given to men as helpers. We were given to our children as teachers. And our, our job is to love, nurture, and stand strong for the home and our family. Thank you so much, Denise. But before we go out, you have to um, <laughs> set this record straight. You know how many as notes <laughs> I have at home? I have plenty of these at home. As we introduce <laughs> your music video as video number one on the countdown Woo! for today. Are you serious? I am very yes. serious. Okay, well, the world knows it as now leaving. But I'm here to tell you, God has turned it around. And we change the words and we're giving God the glory and it's now called I can't leave him. Enjoy. I can't leave him. Come, come, come. You have to have. Let's you go. Have to, yes, you Put have to on. set, set. One, two, three. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> How you know what he's thinking? You because do I know. <laughs> Praise God. God, beautiful. God bless you. God darling. bless you too. Oh. <laughs>
Thank you for joining us for this edition of Lit. And remember, let's inspire together. See you next time.